Call the air and that lets you save the Who cares? True form life. Green look on the Welcome to Exploring Mind and Body with Drew Tadia. Drew is an expert in nutrition, fitness, lifestyle, and more. And he wants to help you live a healthier, longer, and more active life. Now here's your host, Drew Tadia. Welcome to another edition of Nationally Syndicated Exploring Mind and Body. As always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for tuning in and being a part of our True Form Life community, whether you're listening across the country on terrestrial radio or as a podcast around the world. We certainly wouldn't be here without you. Now, today I'm bringing on Sammy Wunder, and she is a relationship coach. She's going to tell you how to find lasting love. Now, I really like how she talks about being open and honest, being a real person. And I think sometimes, well, I know a lot of times we lead with our successes and our materials, things that we connect ourselves with. And I think we all deal with that on some type of basis. But Sammy's going to talk about how to be a real person. And if you want to find that lasting love, if you want to get really connected and find the person that you're going to be with for the rest of your life, she explains how you need to be open and you need to be honest. And she goes through six tips on how you can find lasting love. So sit back and enjoy. We got all that coming up. This is Exploring Mind and Body. Naturally improve your lifestyle one show at a time with your host, Drew Tadia. All right, welcome to another edition of Nationally Syndicated Exploring Mind and Body. You heard all about Sammy Wonder in the introduction. So without further ado, welcome to the show, Sammy. Thanks, Drew, for having me. So excited to be here. It's my pleasure. It's our pleasure. Thank you so much. We are excited to learn about relationships. <laughs> so, Sammy, before we get into it, can you tell me about, to give our, our listeners a chance to resonate with you, who you are, what you do, and how you got into what you're doing? My name is Sammy, which I think everyone knows by now, and I am a dating and relationship coach, and I help strong, ambitious, smart, successful women find lasting love. And I am a master's in economics and public policy from a leading university in Berlin. And the reason why I switched my career into becoming a love and relationship coach was really my own struggles in dating and with men, which got me curious and inspired me to study romantic relationships more deeply. I told you I wasn't going to put you on the spot, but <laughs> is there any struggles that you wanted you want to share with us that got you into it? Because you know what? This is very interesting. Why I'm asking is because usually when I bring on someone that is an expert in detoxing, for example, like detoxing saved their life in some way or improved their health drastically. Or if mm. I bring on someone that is talking about sugar, for example, though they went through a sugar addiction themselves and now teach other people how to avoid sugar processed food and and those detrimental ingredients. So is there anything that you would share with us about your own struggles with relationships? Absolutely. And even though I am certified, I deeply believe that my biggest credential is that I have overcome my own struggles. And that's exactly why I can get um, other women who are just like me and struggling in love That's the reason why I can help them, because I know the struggles so closely myself. So what did the struggles look like? Well, on paper, I was the perfect girl, you know, reasonably good looking, intelligent, well-educated, smart, sensitive, hardworking. So if you would look at me from the outside, you would never be able to guess that a woman like me has an issue attracting men. But I did. So almost... um, always the men would fizzle out, the men I was seeing would fizzle out by day three, and somehow nothing would last. And I just didn't know what to do about it. Like in my in my studies, I could work harder. In my career, I could just, you know, get even smarter and impress my boss somehow and get a promotion by working hard. But it seemed like the harder I worked with men, the more I pushed them away. And I just couldn't figure out what was going on because I wanted marriage and I wanted children so bad. And I just couldn't figure out what was going wrong. 
And I think my transformation point came when I felt like I had found my one. So there was this really handsome, intelligent, charismatic uh, New York based lawyer that I met and we dated. It was pretty intense for two months. And then suddenly I stopped hearing from him and I waited. I waited. I got anxious. I listened to my girlfriend's advice and finally sent him a text asking him, hey, what's up? I haven't heard from you for the last 10 days. And that's when he sent me a text saying, "Uh, Sammy, you're a wonderful girl, so sweet, so lovely, but I don't think I can give you what you desire. Before we get into the show, I just want to mention Complete Truth Protein. This is a plant-based protein supplement that we've designed ourselves at Trueform. And the reason I designed it is because I felt like there was a need in the industry. Now, when I was traveling around the world and I had a, I literally had a tackle box full of supplements and products and vitamins that did a whole lot more damage than good. So when I started doing more personal training and fitness classes, people would ask me what types of supplements I'd recommend. And I always say eat food. (laughs) So that's why I've designed Complete Truth Protein around food. It's made with quinoa and hemp seeds. And one of the main benefits that it offers is improved digestion. So many of us deal with digestion issues on a regular basis. It also gives you a natural boost of energy. So if you head over to trueformlife.com slash complete truth protein, we have tons of more details, videos, recipes, and everything you need to get going in the right direction with a good quality protein supplement. Trueformlife.com slash complete truth protein. And I think... um That was the point of pain where I realized that, okay, something is really wrong in the way I'm doing dating and in the way I am approaching this whole love department of my life. There has to be something drastically wrong because it should not be so hard. Love shouldn't feel so hard. And in my work life, you know, I I could work harder and I would get the promotion I wanted. I could achieve the goals I had set out for myself. But somehow in my love life, the harder I pushed and the harder I worked, the more what I wanted seemed to run away from me. So this was a puzzle that I had to somehow resolve and figure out for myself. And that's what really got me studying relationships. And is this what many of your clients come to you about? Like they're struggling with relationships, finding lasting love themselves? Absolutely. I think it's an epidemic out there, really. We look so connected today in today's world, social media, internet. But actually, we are really longing for love. And we've, I believe, we've never been more disconnected. I mean, 42% of UK, just for example, is divorced. And um, yeah, I I would say singledom is an epidemic today. And a lot of my clients, the women who come to me, they are just like me. I say they they are a past version of myself because they're really successful. They're making money. They own houses. They have degrees. They've got their life together. And yet somehow they are not able to figure out the love department that just eludes them. They are not able to figure it out. So what's something when someone comes to you and one of your clients or potential clients come to you and they say, Sammy, I need some help. What can I do? What's the first, where's the first place that you start? I think the first place, I think that's a very broad question. It's a context dependent question because when a woman comes to me, I really have to look at her entire lifestyle. I have to see, you know, is she dating? Is she not dating? If she's not dating, what's stopping her from dating? But mostly where I start is limiting beliefs. So to give you an example, men are intimidated by strong and successful women. Now, this is a phrase I hear all the time from my strong and successful clients. And this was also something I believed right at the start when I was a single woman. Now, this is a limiting belief. And when I say it's a limiting belief, it simply means it's a belief that is negative and it's a story that we tell ourselves all the time. 
So I think the answer to that question is that it's really context dependent because there's no cookie cookie cutter approach and different clients are really different. So when a client comes to me, I look at her lifestyle, I look if she's dating or not. But most often what I see and where I like to start with my clients is there is by working on their limiting beliefs. What are limiting beliefs? These are the thoughts or the stories that we repeat to ourselves again and again. And essentially, they are disempowering and they make us believe that we can't have what we want. So if you are a strong and successful woman and you want love, and then you at the same time believe that men are intimidated by your success, this essentially means that you can never have a loving man in your life because you don't want to give up on your success and men are intimidated by successful women. So this is why this belief becomes a limiting belief because it limits your capacity to have and create the results that you want to have and create. So I would look at this belief, for example, and I would remind a woman that not firstly, not all men are intimidated by smart and successful women. There are some men out there. Yes, but they are not our focus anyway. And secondly, This is where we get into the depth of understanding romantic relationships that a successful man doesn't fall in love with a woman because of her success, nor does he hate her because of it. So understanding a masculine man's mindset, he falls in love with your essence as a woman. And that has nothing to do with um, how much money you make or what kind of car you drive for example. So one letting go of such beliefs is um, extremely critical because otherwise you just keep attracting that experience. You attract your beliefs. You keep attracting men who are actually intimidated by your success. So when I let go of this limiting belief, for example, in my own life, and I stopped leading with my success, so I did not dumb down or play small. But I also understood on my dates that I didn't have to constantly shove it into a man's face how successful I was or how much money I made, because that is not what fosters connection. And romance is all about connection. And why do you think that women or anyone really, why do you think that we try to portray how successful we are, maybe how much money we have, maybe how educated we are? Is that something that holds us back in general? I absolutely agree. And I think it comes from having your sense of worth being tied to what you do and achieve versus being tied to who you are at your core. So I believe that women of this generation and probably even men, you know, we've been brought up in a society which really values masculine values of achievement and competition and having a status And most of us have grown up identifying with those things, and we don't know who we are beyond those things. So, yes, when you go on a date and you lead with that, you probably are doing it innocently because you you think you're putting your best foot forward and you want to give the best impression to the person in front of you. However, it doesn't foster connection. It doesn't lead to connection. What can we lead with instead of materialistic things? How do we get more? What what would you say more personal, more real? How can we start a relationship with leading with something more than as opposed to just how much money you have or how successful you are? That's a great question. And I think for me, it's always about experiencing, making experiences with the person in front of you and leading with emotional intimacy. So I can literally imagine, you know, going on a date and and, and walking, you know, just taking a walk with them with a man and then just sharing about my views on life or, you know, my struggles so far, how I view certain things, what my values are, what makes me laugh, what gets me scared. I think that is what one should lead with, which is emotional intimacy, because that fosters connection that really helps you understand the person you are with.
Just want to take a minute to mention Complete Truth Protein again. This is a protein supplement that we designed at True Form. We believe in food. We believe food heals, cures, and prevents. That's why this product is much different than your conventional types of products. Unfortunately, packed with chemicals, preservatives, toxins that our body doesn't know how to utilize, digest, and absorb. So that's why Complete Truth Protein can help improve your digestion and will offer a natural boost of energy. You can find more details at trueformlife.com slash complete truth protein. So that seems like it'd be a challenge because you have to kind of dig deep. You have to open up yourself. You have to be more personal. And it'd probably be a whole lot easier if you just talk about how successful you are. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. And that's why so many people take that way. I mean, even when it comes to casual sex, I am um, completely opposed to it in dating. I teach high value dating and I tell women, you know, it's so much easier to take your clothes off than it is to actually open your heart. And it's and the magic lies in opening your heart because that is where the connection lies. So if someone really wants to make a connection, they want to find this lasting love, they have to be willing to put themselves out there. They have to open their heart and lead with feelings as opposed to external types of emotions, let's say. Absolutely. You want to lead with vulnerability. You want to allow yourself to be seen with your imperfections included not try to act all perfect because nobody is. So I think it's about authenticity. And um, yeah. So after we have our initial date and we're, we're being more open, we're honest. I think you talked about that mindset of understanding you're attracting sometimes what we don't want. So changing our mindset, what's the next step that we can take to find lasting love and get in, get involved with a real relationship that will ultimately be the one that we spend the rest of our lives with? Okay, great question. I actually have a six-step process. And if you like, I can go through it really quickly for you. Sure. Let's see what you got. Okay. So the fir- it's called the Wunder Soulmate Attraction Method. And uh, the first step is, as I said, just dealing with your mindset and uh, with your limiting beliefs. And when it comes to mindset, I think uh, one crucial element there is also just understanding that no man holds the key to your happiness and that your happiness is always, always your job. Because um, a lot of the women, they wait for a man to come into their lives and make them happy and it never works because, yeah. Nobody else is responsible for your happiness. And a happy woman is extremely attractive to a healthy masculine man. So that is the first uh, step. We work on your mindset and we work on your limiting beliefs. The second step is we work on you and your relationship with yourself, because at the end of the day, that is the foundation of all the other steps. Because if you are not in a place in your life where you where you care for yourself, where you take care of your body, you take care of your health, you you speak kindly to yourself, even when nobody's listening, your internal dialogue towards yourself is positive and you know how to set boundaries, you know how to speak up for yourself. All those elements are so important and need to be in place before that amazing love enters your life. Because I truly believe a man will only treat you as well as you treat yourself. And step number three, Drew, is overcoming intimacy fears. This is also a big one for my clients because they've been single and independent for so long that even though they say on the surface that they want a man in their life, actually, they have no space for a man in their life. And they have no, when a man would enter their life, he would never feel needed because they believe in doing it all themselves. And even though they say they want that intimate romantic relationship, actually, they're very afraid of having it. They're very afraid of intimacy. So this is the part where I help women, again, let their guard down, open their hearts and really be able to receive love. Now, a lot of my clients, they are they are women who love the bad boys, the boys who don't give them attention, the boys who treat them badly. And whenever there's a good guy on their doorstep who actually cares and who actually through his actions shows them that they're amazing, they can't handle it. 
So this is, again, you know, intimacy fears. When real love, love knocks at your door, you don't know what to do about it. You don't know how to deal with it. So I help women recognize true love when it shows up on their doorstep and help them, enable them to be able to receive it. And how do you do that? How does someone, you know, when they, I imagine your clients don't understand or don't know that they keep pushing the ones that they should be keeping away. And how do you help them recognize that these are the ones that you're looking for if you want that lasting love? Okay, great question. So I think when a woman comes to me, she's not even aware of the pattern. And my first job is to make her aware of the pattern. So make her aware that the kind of men she goes for or falls for are the ones who are hot and cold, treating her poorly, not giving her attention, flirting with other women openly in front of her. Just just bad guys, the guys she doesn't feel good around. And then there are all these men that, um, you know, are actually calling, are actually setting up dates, are bringing flowers, are checking in on her. So I think this is about a woman becoming first aware of her pattern. And then the second step is I am willing to let go of this pattern because as a coach and as an expert, I can show you where you're self-sabotaging. But then at the end of the day, you have to be willing to correct that pattern. I can only, you know, you can take the horse to the water, but you can't make it drink. So the woman has to be ready to correct that pattern. And the woman has to say no to pain. She has to say no to feeling miserable in love. And she has to understand that real love doesn't feel miserable. Real love feels good, healthy, happy, secure, fun, exciting, passionate. And then step number three is really... Um, I just want to mention Complete Truth Protein here once again before I let you go. This is a protein supplement we designed ourselves made with quinoa and hemp seeds, also maca and stevia. We have two different types of products. They both have tons of health benefits. You can bake the original bed, you can bake with. It's perfect for gluten-free flour. If you're celiac or gluten intolerant, we have tons of recipes on trueformlife.com which include raw protein balls. People absolutely love these ones. We have pancakes, cookies, muffins, all healthy, all clean ingredients. Dorothy puts these together for us on a weekly basis. So if you head over to trueformlife.com, head over to the recipe section. We have all kinds of recipes on how you can use Complete Truth Protein. It's also a vegan and raw product. So if you have any intolerances or if you have any issues with digestion, this will definitely help you out. Once again, that's trueformlife.com slash Complete Truth Protein. You know, we we make the women date and we make the women, you know, when the men are coming towards them and they're good, healthy, energetic, masculine men, um, every time she wants to shut her heart down and reject them or nitpick on them and judge them and find a reason to push them away, that is the moment to moment awareness we help them de um, develop so that in that moment when she wants to reject a good man, she takes a deep breath and makes a new choice to actually let him in. I mean, this is deep work and we have many, many tools I help my clients with. So interrupting those habits, like I think those are natural reactions that we don't know we have, but we have to interrupt those habits that continue to lead us in the direction that we don't want to go ultimately. Absolutely. Stopping the knee jerk responses What's and, the next and, one and choosing more aware responses. So what's next is rotational dating. This is a controversial one and it actually got the BBC and the Daily Mail and national TV interested in me because it is controversial. Rotational dating is all about dating more than one man at the same time till you have the commitment you want. Now, in the first impression, it sounds very slutty, very horrible, but it's not because I'm a very traditional, I'm a traditional woman at heart. I this is actually a very old fashioned way of dating where women were not sleeping around with uh, men, but they were actually cour being courted by many men until they found the man that was willing to give them a level of safety, stability and commitment. They were single. So they went from dating. They went from seeing a man to being engaged. So this is the next step. I teach women how to rotational date. And it saves them a lot of time because generally a woman sees one man and then she sees him for three months and then things don't work out. 
And then she recovers three months from the heartbreak because she thought that was real and it was really developing into something. And then she gets back in the market. And before you know, a year is gone. And for for my clients who are 33, 34, looking to settle down, have children, time is precious for them. And so rotational dating is a powerful way for women to actually only date serious men and move forward with the one that is willing to offer them the commitment they desire. And what else? Do you think that was number five or is that number six? That's number four. So number five is masculine and feminine energy. This is this was the game changer for me because as a hardworking um, university going girl, all I knew was to work hard, work hard, work hard and take action, take action. Little did I realize that while that did help me, you know, succeed in my work life and in my career, it was actually very counterproductive energy in my love life. So what I teach my clients is that for romance to exist, for a healthy romantic relationship, you need a masculine energy partner and you need a feminine energy partner because that is what gives uh, sexual polarity. You see, we're talking about romantic relationships. We're not talking about roommates and friends. So we need sexual tension to exist between a man and a woman. And the way that tension, that polarity is created is through one masculine leading partner and one feminine following partner. Now, this is um, it's very hard for my clients at, at the beginning to accept because, you know, they're so rooted in their masculine behaviors. If they like a man, they ask him, ask him out, baby him, take him out, get him flowers. And it's just really turning off and unattractive for a healthy masculine man who likes to be in control. So step five is all about helping women understand how to embody their feminine energy. And this has everything to do with your heart energy, with softness, with having boundaries and uh, letting a man in, being able to receive from a man, et cetera, et cetera. So this is about feminine energy embodiment um, in dating, which is very powerful, brings very powerful results for my clients. Okay, Sammy, we're just uh, just about short on time here, but I'd love to hear your number six before we wrap it up. So number six is understanding men, understanding that they're very different um, to who we are. And they, they, they think differently. They, they feel connection differently. They, they understand and process information differently. They commit differently. They fall in love differently to us women. And so when you have this information about how men and women are different, it really empowers you in how you date because then you just don't assume things about the opposite sex. You don't assume that they're the same as you are. You actually understand the differences and uh, you're able to work with them to your advantage. All right, Sammy, those were some great tips. I really appreciate you sharing those with us. Um, before we get, before we let you go here, I'd love to know more about yourself, your website or products in case our listeners want to find out more details about you. Thank you, Drew. Um, I can be found at sammywunder.com. So you just have to watch out with the spelling W-U-N-D-E-R. It's a German word for wonder. So sammywunder.com. And I offer private coaching high end for my clients, totally confidential. And I also have many group coaching programs and self-study programs that you can download on my website. Fantastic, Sammy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. No question that some of our audience will love to hear some of these tips. So again, thank you for coming on today. Thanks, Drew, for having me. All right, that's going to wrap things up for this edition of Exploring Mind and Body. As always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sticking around till the end and being a part of our True Form Life community. We have more details going up on exploringmindandbody.com. All past shows are going up there. I hope you got something out of the show. Sammy definitely knows what she's talking about. Clearly, we need to push the material possessions aside and be real, authentic individuals, not just in romantic relationships. I think in every type of relationship, if you are willing to put yourself out there, you always get back what you put out. So give that a thought. (laughs) Give that a thought if you have any issues or if you're just trying to improve your relationship that you already have. We have a free app that you can download on any Apple device. Head over to the Apple Store. 
download it. Look for Exploring Mind and Body. Download our show and take us with you wherever you go. More details are at trueformlife.com. This is where we do more meal planning, recipes, grocery shopping lists, and at-home workouts. Once again, thank you so much for being here. That's it. That's all I got. I'm out of here. As always, I'm your host, Drew Tadia, in health and fitness for a better world. Thanks for listening. You've been listening to Exploring Mind and Body with True Form Life's Drew Tadia, fitness expert. To find out more about the show, Drew Tadia, or to listen to past shows, visit exploringmindandbody.com.